Symmetrical balance is when a design has its positive side, while asymmetrical is when it does not, but it still forms a balance. Movement shows the flow of the eye in a design. Too much movement will exhaust your viewer, so learn to reduce the eye movement in your design. Note, we read from top to bottom and left to right. So your design should control the eye from top to bottom and left to right. That is to say, important elements should be big and bold at the top and gradually decreasing down the design. It is not nice if your important element is at the top and the second most important is far at the bottom and others are scattered around. It should be well arranged accordingly. For example, now concerning um, movement, I had to go online to search a couple of designs so we can study the study about movement. First, these designs are downloaded from a popular group, online graphic design group on Facebook. Lagos Graphic Designers, I think that's the group. I got a few of these designs here. This one are from different groups. Anyways, look at this design. The movement of the eye in this design is not just very good, happy, the edge big, happy, bird, and day. It's allowed the eye to stress a lot to go through this design. And after this, you now move to this, this side, and all this stuff is not well arranged. It allows the eye to stress to read through this design. And also, this one, also, you know, normally we write from left to right, top to bottom. But this arrangement here, best online design Nigeria. Registration fee, this composition will be in two stages. I now move uh, everything is just scattered around the design not in a nice form and the picture crosses and everything is just scattered the colors is not even well placed and this design there is no unity in it there is no unity in the design cause some some of the angles the way things are bending is forming different angles so I'm bending this way bending this way and it's not if at all the whole design was bent to one side it would have been better but some bent wrongly and no consistency in shape there is an oval shape here circle here and a triangle here so and looking at this one the contrast here is very bad if someone should look at this place from a far distance can't see but i'm not too concerned about that what i'm really concerned is about the eye movement though the the arrangement is like the eye movement is okay because people can read from top to bottom but why i have to take this design was because the contrast so i can show you a design that has a very wrong contrast the wrong contrast in this if i should convey this design to grayscale now this is what you will get a very low contrast you can't even read the behold from far distance even the thing present and every other thing so we should be careful when choosing colors for our design and be consistent with your colors now when you see good designs you will know nobody will tell you that this one is, is, is bad or good now look at this the way it's very simple and straight there is space in the design enough space in the design and the arrangement is okay just centralized the way the eye read step by step the eye will just read everything now look at this other design it's also perfect the colors everything is just well arranged and there is space in the design so look at good designs and try to design a good design and this other design also one can stress to read through this design after the salvation center killing and 
Holy Ghost service, night of praise, everything is just normal and it goes well. Now this this stuff here, it's just a kind of creative stuff. We can call it closure. We can call it closure when we should be when we were about to talk about closure, you will understand more about closure. So let's move to the next one. Uh, the eye will read through all this the movement of the eye the eye won't stress to go through this and this and this it's just very okay believe we know these people they are prominent people in our society and move to this other one the design is just centralized the eye won't stress itself to go through all this right up it's just okay and straight not scattered around and this also closure and expository with Chris Patrick, everything is just normal. The eye and there is enough space in the design. Everything is not compacted and enlarged. Um, this design can also represent balance. We're talking about balance. The right top here and the picture. It makes this design to be balanced. If you cut it into two, if you cut it into two, this side takes part, this side takes part, and everything becomes very, very balanced. So please look at good designs and do good designs but as for this i won't give any credit to this it's a very bad design i can't give credit to this i can only give credit to people that created this i think i know who created this chris patrick himself is the one who created the design and um corporate graphics as gd gd travis is the one that created this design and i wish i can remember those i got these designs from or they're given credit to them so always follow people that do good designs and try to imitate them and also do good designs but as for this be careful when following people that do designs like this pattern is also known as rhythm or repetition continuous pattern creates movement it basically brings the whole design together the repetition of elements can form pattern or rhythm example here the use of circles have created a pattern on this design which shows the repetition on this design Unity is also known as harmony. It shows how your design works together and communicates with one voice. It relates to the consistency on your design and ensures your elements relate with one another. Unity helps to create order at the end of your design if it does not show unity. You need to consider your design approach. Look at this example of Unity. Does it look good? Absolutely no. We should not use elements that are in conjunction with one another. Because every element here is looking for attention and there is no unity in the design. This is a good example of unity in a design. Lastly, let's see the theory of Gestalt. Here we have the four laws of Gestalt, which is proximity, similarity, continuity, and closure. Proximity is the distance between elements in a design. The closer the element in a design, the more they seem related. Another way our mind group things together is based on similarity. When your elements are similar in shape, size and color, I see such design as a unified design. Due to similarity, these circles look so much unified. But simply adding this, it's no more unified. Continuity links to the principle of movement. That is, movement of the eye from left to right and top to bottom. 
Example is these five circles joined together. That is, the eye moves from red to blue. The last law is closure. It fills the gap and sees things that don't exist. Example, this image. You think you are seeing a triangle, but it is a circle cut out and facing each other. Look at the FedEx logo. It seems as if there is an arrow here. What of the Troubleron logo? Once you see this, you will understand the Gestalt principle of closure. This is to say, closure really works with logo design. We have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening effectively.